Let's look at tasks six and seven of the 21-22 Higher Admin and IT assignment. So we have the task here to do with advertising. The first thing we need to do is establish which file we need to use. Well, this one is quite straightforward. Paragraph two talks about completing the spreadsheet. So we know it's going to be a spreadsheet we have to open up. And the first paragraph talks about advertising. And you'll see here that we have a file called advertisers. So that is the spreadsheet that we are going to have to open up. Now, thinking about the SQA specification and what you might get tested on, here is a list of all the things that you could be tested on. Now, in a previous task, we've already done a V and H lookup, so I don't think we'll get that again. But there's going to be something, one, two, three, maybe more, things we're going to have to do from the specification here. So let's now take a closer look at the spreadsheet. So here we are in the advertiser spreadsheet. I can see we have one sheet called advertisers with information and a few columns to complete. And then the second one is the advertising summary. And there's something we're going to have to do, which clearly is going to link to the first sheet. So looking at this, this first sheet, let's decide what we need to do. So we need to work out a discount amount and then calculate the income. To get the discount amount, if you remember from the task, it depends on how many students there are on placements in the various businesses. So this task is needing us to do a nested if. There's actually two ways to do this. We can do nested if or another function that does the same job called the ifs function. And I'll show you both. But we first have to be clear on how are we working out the discount amount. So with the nested if, this means there's multiple ifs in the same formula. I'm not going to be able to use the insert function box for this one. I'm just going to have to type it straight in. But hopefully you're familiar with the basic if statement and we're going to just take it one step further. So we start with equals if. Equals if, open bracket, gets the formula, gets a function underway. So what are we testing? Well, we're looking up and we're testing the number of placements. So in C4, now, based on the task there, if it is more than, so greater than 10 students, if that is logical test, if it's greater than 10, and I'll do a comma, it will jump to the next part. You see there, value of true is now in bold. If that is true, then we are going to apply a 15% discount. So we're going to type in 15 and just the percent. And then we're going to do a comma. Now you see it jumps to value if false. We're not there yet because there's another thing we have to do because if it's more than um, so no students, so it's one or more, they're to get a 10% discount. So the nested part of the if is that we have to start all over again by going if, open bracket, and you see we're back at the beginning. Logical test. This time, C4, it needs to be greater than zero. That, that will give us one placement and above. If that is true, then with a comma, if that is true, let's jump and put in 10%. If we do another comma, it will jump to, so if it's not 15%, it's not 10%, what, what, what do you want instead? So with a comma, if, it, if it's not th these two, value of false is going to be zero. They're not going to get any discount if there are no placements for that business. Now, because we've opened up the opening bracket uh, twice and you'll see they're sort of colour coded here so I have to close the, the sort of second if that we did and then we have to close the first if that we did so that's why we're seeing two brackets because we've got two ifs. Now we're not quite finished yet because it's 15% of what? It's the discount amount. Well we see in the question that it's costing £100 to advertise so we're really taking 15% of 100 or 10% of 100 so we'll just do at the very end multiplied by 100 and that will get the actual discount amount not just the discount percentage. Click on enter and there's the discount amount uh, for the first one. They'll get £15 off the £100 advert. Just click on the first one you've done there, double click, left double click to copy down. 
and therefore to work out what the income is actually going to be, straightforward arithmetical subtraction equals, well, we know the cost is £100, the full cost is 100 and then we can go minus and whatever discount amount there is, if there is one, of course, um, we're going to click on the, the cell there, D4, and that will give us the actual income taking into account the discount. Click on that one. And then again, just copy down or, or double click to do it quickly. And that is the first part completed. Now, let me show you again using the ifs function. It does the same job as nested. You might prefer it. It might be the only way you know, but let's just do the ifs function this time. I can actually use the insert function box. So let's go equals ifs. You'll see there it comes up. And if I open the bracket there, it's, it's waiting for the information. But in this example, I am going to go and go to insert function to bring up the box. All right. So now we're again, we're building this up, looking for what well, the logical test is the same. We're saying that um, C4 has to be greater than 10. If that is true, so I'll just jump down. If that is true, we'll give 15%. You'll notice that um, coming down here, another box has appeared, so we can do the same thing again. Logical test two. Again, we're going into C4. This time we're saying if it's greater than zero, then what we're saying here is we're going to get 10%. All right, then the last one we said is if the number of placement, actually there's none, so if it equals zero. Now, there's not another box here, but I'm just going to click on my tab key to get this, the, the next one down, the value of tr true three. If, if, if that is true there, then they're going to get no discount. So you might find that easier. You'll notice there up in the formula bar, we don't have to keep adding in the if. The ifs comes at the beginning with one open bracket and one closed bracket. And of course, the beauty here is you can also use the function arguments box to help you. So maybe that's a better way, an easier way for you to do it. You'll get the same results. So, um, oh, actually, we'll click on OK. But remember, we haven't quite finished. Let's go back up to the formula bar and we're going to do multiplied by 100. Remember, it's discount um, of £100 and click on enter there and you'll have the same result. And again, to work at the income equals, we know the full advertising cost is 100 and subtract from that the discount we've worked out and then we can copy that down. So either with a nested if or the ifs function, that is the first part of the task completed. Let's look at the advertising summary and think about what we need to do to complete this worksheet. So looking here, we have an advert format. There's three different kinds of advertising and we have to find out how many advertisers we've got for each of the advert formats and how much income we're going to make. So we're going to get this information is going to come somewhere from in here, but we're thinking about the function that we need. So to get the number of advertisers, we need the count if function. Essentially, we want to count if it finds freestanding display. So click on equals and then let's start typing in count if. Let's open the bracket there. If we want to bring up the insert function box, let's just click on that there. And it's looking for a range and it's looking for criteria. So let's think what the range is going to be. Where is it going to start looking up? Well, let's click it on the advertiser sheet here and we need to get the information from column B. Now you can actually just highlight um, the entire column, but for this one here, I think let's just highlight the list here. So it's going to be counting from this list, from this range here down to row 37. Now remember, if we want to copy something down, we will have to fix this list into place using the dollar signs. It's F4 and that will fix that range into place. Now, thinking about the criteria, what's the first criteria that we're looking up? Well, we need the freestanding display. We could just type it in here, but we've got three of them. So the quickest way to do it is just to click in cell A4, because that's where freestanding display is shown. That's what we're trying to count. 
we don't need to dollar sign anything because we want it to come down row four, row five, row six to pick up A1 poster and then digital screen. This one here, we're counting if it finds the free standing display. I can see there it has returned the number 12. So we're going to click on OK. And here it's done it. So I've only had to do the count if in one cell just in B4, but I can now copy it down and it will pick up and you'll see there if I look at the formula for the A1 poster because it's picked up what's in A5, which is A1 poster, it's counting and then underneath here, digital screen in A6. So that is how we do the count if. Something similar with the income, but this time we need the sum if function. Again, let's go equals sum sum if open the bracket there to get it started use the insert function just to help guide you a little bit better and now looking at the range it's the same range that you did for the count if we're having to look through all the advertising formats so again let's go to the column b so it's b4 i'll do control shift arrow down will get me down to the bottom b37 we know we have to copy this down so let's fix the information, let's fix the range into place with the dollar signs. Again, the criteria, rather than typing it in, let's just use what we have, in this case, in cell A4. No dollars, we're not fixing that, that has to copy down relatively. And then the sum range, because we're looking for the income, is what we worked out in the last part of the task, which is the income less the discount, so it's column E. So again, I'll go from E4, control shift, arrow down to E37. And again, we'll fix it into place. Let's click on OK. And there we'll see it has uh, returned the correct amount. And then as we copy down, then we have it here. Now, I'm not sure if you already have the total. If you didn't, remember, it would just be a very quick auto sum to do that. And if it isn't formatted this way, then remember, you just be going into the, the formatting here and making sure that everything looks consistent because that is really, really important. It's not asking for a well, total income in column C. It's not asking you to add the number of advertisers. So just be careful when you do this one to only populate what has been asked. So that is the two parts of the task. I can just see the very last thing is we have to print in value and formula view. And we've done this before that this is the value view. There's two ways to get the formula to show the formula. You could go into the formulas tab and then you've got a button here show formula on and off. And remember, if you're showing formula and printing it, you have to make sure that you stretch out and you make sure that everything can be seen with your formula and toggle back. And then the other way is with my finger on the control key, keep it pressed and I, I hit the shoulder key, which is up in the top left hand side. It's the button below the escape key. So control shoulder key toggles on and toggles off. So that is how we do task six and seven of the assignment.